Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing about the historical timeline of science and technology in the Philippines. Pre-Spanish period Spanish colonial period American and post-Commonwealth era Marcus era Fifth Republic Pre-Spanish period the Philippines has few written information with regards to its society, culture, and technology before the Spanish arrived. We relied on archaeological findings to trace the beginning of how the Filipinos live with the use of science and technology. Early Filipinos have also engaged themselves into weaving, shipbuilding, mining, and farming that led them in creating the finest products of engineering, which is the Benali rice terraces. Early Spanish chronicles also noted that early Filipinos built their fine plank built warship called Caracoa that well suited for inter island trade. Filipinos were already aware of activities and practices related to science and technology. They have learned the curative values of plants and able to extract the medicine out of it. They had an alphabet, counting methods, weights, and measurement system, and a calendar that Spanish colonial period. When the Spaniards colonized the Philippines, it has contributed the growth of science and technology in the country. They have introduced formal education and founded scientific institutions. Parish schools were established where they taught religion, reading, writing, arithmetic, and music. Natives were taught the more advanced methods in agriculture. Later on, they have established colleges and universities around the country, including the oldest university in Asia which is the University of Santo Tomas. American Period and Post-Commonwealth Era During the American period, science was inclined towards agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy, and not much focus were given on development of industrial technology due to free trade policy with the United States that nurtured an economy geared towards agriculture and trade. In 1950, there were reports made with the U.S. Economic Survey about the Philippines. Problem with regards to the science and technology, such a lack of basic information, no support, minimal budget, and low compensation. During the regimen of Carlos P. Garcia in 1958, the Philippine Congress passed a bill entitled the Science Act of 1958, which a goal is to establish the National Science Development Board. Marcus Era It was only during this era where science was given importance. In 1968, President Marcus recognized that technology was the top reason in economic development and gave extra funds to support projects in applied science and science education. While in 1969, he allotted large amount of war damage funds to private universities to encourage them to courses that focus on science and technology and research. In 1970, he emphasized that by upgrading the science curriculum and teaching equipment is crucial to the science development program. One of the greatest contribution in this era is the establishment of PAGASA, which function is to give environmental protection and to utilize scientific knowledge to ensure the safety of the nation. President Marcus also established the National Academy of Science and Technology in 1976 to help scientists who are experts in science and technology. Fifth 
Republic. After the term of President Marcos, Corazon Aquino replaced him in the presidential seat and on her term in 1986, she replaced the National Science and Technology Authority to Department of Science and Technology or DOST, giving the Science and Technology a seat in the government cabinet. It was during the Philippine Development Plan for the years 1987 to 1992 where the role of science and technology in the nature economy was highlighted. In 1990, State of Nation Address of President Corazon Aquino said that science and technology development should be in the top three priorities of the government to implement the development plan they have made. <laughs>